So today we're going to illustrate some of the installation of the accessories for the 3VA 250 amp circuit breaker. Primary tool that we'll need for this operation is the Phillips screwdriver. So this is the rear shield. Uh, what we'll have to do is install this on the back of the breaker. It just slides in place right there. It's compression fit so it holds fairly snugly. When you install it on the breaker and, and mount the breaker on a back pan, it holds itself in place without having any, any additional tooling. Next part we'll install is the interface barrier. This is used when we have extended bus bar coming out of the end of the breaker that may not be insulated, or if we have lugs that come out the end of the breaker that need a phase barrier. So there's a dovetail uh, between each phase. We make certain that we see which direction the insulator uh, is supposed to go, and we slide this down in the dovetail, making certain that we seat it all the way down into the grooves on the rear insulator. I'll install both of these. So now we have an installation where we can protect uh, electrical arcing between phases on the circuit breaker and that completes that installation. So on the back side of the rotary handle operator there are six points that we want to make certain that we engage with the breaker similar to where the accessory cover installs. So we'll take the handle operator, set it on the breaker, pull a little bit toward you, and we snap it in place. So it's basically installed. We have two screws. Uh, I need a long screwdriver to install those screws, but there you have the rotary handle operator installed on the 3VA 250 amp circuit breaker. This assembly, there's a pre-assembly required for this and I'm not going to go through that today, but in order to use the draw-out assembly, you have to mount the side plates and the back plate on the breaker itself, as well as the plug-in stabs. This makes your electrical connection to the plug-in assembly. What we'll do is, normally this would be in a vertical position, but we'll illustrate it easily in the horizontal position. What I've done is make sure that we can lock the breaker in place. This breaker would normally be in a vertical position and you don't want to make, we want to make sure that the breaker doesn't accidentally fall out of the plug-in assembly. So there's a lock that keeps that breaker in position uh, for safety purposes. So, uh, and also if you can see the disconnect the green says that the breaker is actually disconnected from the plug-in assembly so that there is no electrical connection at this point in time. So what I will do is, using the handle, I'm going to engage the breaker to a test position. Now, in order for it to go further, I have to take the handle out, literally take the handle out, and I'll show you just the, the indicator that we're now in a test position. That is internal accessories. If you have internal accessories wired, the internal accessories will be connected, but you will not have the main power connected to the breaker at this point in time. Another safety feature. So now what I'll do is reinstall the handle and I have to hold on pretty tightly here. That would normally be installed on a wall or in a panel. I'm going to keep on winding until the breaker actually goes to the connected position. And again, I'll illustrate the fact that the, there's an indicator that shows that we are in the connected position. That means the internal accessories are connected as well as the main uh, electrical connection to the breaker. To remove the breaker, again, install the handle. And what you will do is wind until the breaker gets to a test position 
and I can keep on winding and I can't go any further. It's another safety feature so that your uh, uh, heavy duty handed electricians can't break this assembly. So again, I'll illustrate that we're in a test position. The main bus are disconnected, but internal accessories can still be connected. So in order to continue, I have to pull the handle out, put it back in, and now I can continue to remove the breaker from the successor. Again, safety feature, it's removed, it's all the way out. I can keep on rotating the handle, will not affect any of the mechanism. And again, to illustrate the safety feature, I have to hold this mechanism down, this, this lock down, before I can actually remove the breaker from the assembly, a safety feature. And that completes that operation. One of the major advantages of this product line is the amount of data that's readily available to the customer. If, for example, you receive the breaker or you receive an accessory and throw away the instruction sheets with the box, you can always use the QR code that's on the front of the breaker. And all of the major accessories have a QR code right on the front of the breaker that will take you to our industry mall and in turn to data sheets, cut sheets, 3D drawings, uh, time current curves, basically all the data that you need to install and operate this family of circuit breakers. Siemens, ingenuity for life.